Hi everyone, I'm starting with the new series on Kafka test automation. So before going into the detail of automation aspect, let us discuss what is Kafka, what are different components of Kafka. So Kafka, it is a platform by Apache. It is an open source distributed event streaming platform. Now, what does that mean event streaming? Uh, traditionally, we have application and we have databases where in the databases, you have the most latest state of data about any entity. Of course, unless you have configured the tables to contain maybe log specific information or audit information, by nature databases are designed to store the most updated information about any entity, right? So for example, if there is a user or maybe there is an employee, let's take the example of employee, it has a attribute salary, you update that salary maybe just recently, but what was the previous value of that? What was the value three years back? What was the value three weeks back, three months back? That kind of information, you cannot have it from the database. Now the Kafka, it provides you a medium of uh, capturing the real-time updates, real-time events on a particular uh, particular data, right? So, for example, any kind of put operation, post operation, delete operation, whatever the events are being triggered by these operations on, on any given entity, those will be stored in the Kafka with the, some timestamp, with whatever the unique key which is there for that particular entity that has been updated or then there will be what kind of update you have given. So the, all of these things are like there associated with that particular event that has happened, right? So any kind of update, creation, removal, it caused an event. Each event has some key associated with it, some value associated with it and a timestamp, right? When that event has occurred. So this is a basic about Kafka. Let us go into a much like a bit more detail and see what are the different components. So let me open the introduction part here. So here we have the definition of event streaming. It is the practice of capturing data in real time from event sources. So this event sources, as we just discussing, it can be a service which is maybe doing some update, some removal, some um, maybe creation, those kind of thingy. Uh, traditionally, we call them producer, whatever the things that are producing some event on topic, those are producers. And then there are some uh, entities which are consuming the data that is known as consumers. Now, here we have Apache Kafka is an event streaming platform. What does this mean? So Kafka combines three key capabilities as you can implement your use cases for event streaming end to end with a single uh, tested solution. Okay, to publish, publish mean writing the data and subscribing mean consuming the data. Okay, stream of events. So data is nothing but the stream of events here, including continuous import export of your data from other so system to store streams of event. So this stream of events which has been published, these can be stored as long as you want. It, 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 it is configurable, right? And then to process the stream of event as they occur or retrospectively. Okay. So how does Kafka work in a nutshell? So it will have servers, it will have clients. So to depict it, I have created a flow diagram. Yeah, so this is a basic diagram. So here we have producers, here we have consumers, and here we have a Kafka cluster. There is one, like there are other components as well, which uh, I will just briefly touch base upon, but mainly uh, we shall be aware about this. Like there will be producers, there will be consumers, and there, here we have a Kafka cluster. This is, this can be known as server, right? Where we will be having brokers, broker one, broker two. Brokers are nothing you can just simply consider it as different uh, uh, machines, right? And different servers, there will be 
uh, like the data which the events that are being stored those are stored in topics so here you can see we have topic and here the topics can be on different servers right basically how uh, this is designed then a topic as we are just discussing it can also be divided further in partitions okay and multiple partitions combines together to form a topic and then each partition of a given topic can be distributed on different brokers that's why we were saying that kafka it is an open source distributed even streaming platform distributed in nature because these partitions of topic are being distributed on different brokers or on different servers you can say and here you can see topic 1 partition 0 is on broker 1 topic 1 partition 1 is on broker 2 similarly topic 2 partition 0 topic 2 partition 1 and now you can see consumers are there so each producer can be linked to different topics different producers can be linked to same topic similarly consumers okay so a topic can have uh, multiple consumers multiple producers working on it in the same time again to support it we also have distributed uh, topics like different partitions so maybe at a given time a producer p1 is publishing data on partition 0 of topic 1 similarly producer 2 is publishing data on topic 1 partition 1 and a producer 3 on the same time may be producing data on any of these uh, topics right similarly the concept of consumers so consuming the data at the same time it is possible right now here you can see replicas what does that mean maybe uh, if say this broker is down there can be other brokers as well right if this broker is down it has information about topic 1 partition 0 topic 2 partition 0 so replicas mean these partitions are being replicated on other brokers as well where the main copy is here but this is being replicated on other brokers so in case if this is down maybe due to some maintenance activity or something then there are other places from where the data can be consumed right so this is the concept of replicas so normally if i will go there let me open so here we have server clients so let's see what all things we have covered here we have clients here we have servers right and each event event is stored in the partition right here we uh, we store the event each event has a key value and timestamp as we discussed earlier producers consumers topics partitions we have discussed it let's go through this example as well this example topic has four partition p1 to p4 two different producer clients are publishing independently from each other here you can see publishing data here publishing data here and then publishing here and here as well right new events to the topic by writing events over the network to the topic partition events with the same key yeah so now how the data so a data can we have like there can be events right there will be key associated with the events so normally what happen the keys are like if the same keys are there then those will be in the same partitions right so that is what mentioned here events with the same key are written to the same partition note that both producer can write to the same partition if appropriate and in partitions what we have like if you see these uh, cells that we have here you can consider it as offsets right so messages are being uh, maybe if messages are being produced maybe at for zero offset first then one then two then three then it is the responsibility of kafka to also consume the messages in the same order okay so it will it will it is the responsibility of kafka to let consumers consume the messages in the same order okay 
and then here we have the replication factor mentioned here which is normally three that means each partitions will be replicated on the three different brokers so this is uh, like normally it is mentioned a common producer setting is production setting is to have a replication factor of three that is there will be always be three copies of your data okay so this is it mainly about the components part and we have also gone through the basic introduction in next video we'll do a basic setup of kafka on our machine so that in further videos we can use that setup to automate the kafka so that's all for this video guys thank you see you in the next video